Video games have been around since Alan Alcorn created Pong in 1972, but we still tend to think of them as being only for kids or adults who won't grow up. Today we're at the University of the Sunshine Coast Engage Lab, where Professor Stuart Smith and his team are out to show the world that video games have grown up. They are no longer just for entertainment. In fact, video games are serious business and can be developed into powerful tools to help older people stay healthy, both physically and mentally. We've played games for our entire human existence. Since we started scratching paintings on cave walls, playing and games have been part of humanity, as has storytelling. So we've always had this really rich way of interacting with each other. And over the past few decades, we've seen the emergence of digital games, mm -hmm. probably what you'd call video games. And unfortunately, our conception of games is very much driven by this idea of, you know, young teenagers blasting away at aliens. Yeah. Well, serious gaming is actually the application of everything that we know about games throughout the entire human history of playing games, including some of the digital approaches to gameplay, uh, and applying that to serious problems. So the idea of how do we use games in education? How do we use games in healthcare? How might we use games in politics and governance? Um, so that's serious games. So think, think about a classic scenario of somebody who's maybe had a stroke or a spinal cord injury. If you can get that person to try and use their fingers again or their arm or whatever, then you can gradually rebuild some of those brain circuits. Now that involves a lot of repetition, yeah. um, and repetition in anything is boring. boring. Exactly. <laughs> so what's not boring is playing games. Yeah. So we're starting to explore the use of gaming technologies, video yep. games, to get people to do lots of practice of these kinds of movements. Uh, and it's a very effective technique. So we took a, a fairly standard video game called Dance Dance Revolution mm -hmm. that you can find in any of the video arcades. And we modified it. Um, so basically with Dance Dance Revolution, there's a mat on the floor that's got switches in it. And you have to step onto particular switches in time to something that's happening on a screen. Right. No. Uh, and it's all set to music and it's, it's kind of fun and it gets you moving your body. Our group a couple of years ago developed a modified version of Dance Dance Revolution. We slowed the game down, we put in music that older adults told us they'd like to listen to. We, we managed to get people to play this dancing video game in their own home and we measured their risk for having a fall at the start of the study mm -hmm. and at the end of the study, and guess what? We reduced risk. Wonderful, falls. wonderful. And virtual reality. Yeah, look, <laughs> you, you may have seen in the media a, a little bit of uh, talk about virtual reality. I mean, this idea of, um, of a very immersive uh, digital experience. So pretty soon, they're gonna be as common as your, your phones, your mobile phones, or your tablet. Imagine that you've had a stroke. Yes. Uh, and, but you live in far western Queensland and you've come to Brisbane to undergo some rehabilitation and then right. you go back out home. Um, you want to be able to continue on in your rehabilitation. Well, one of the ways that we're exploring about uh, uh, getting you to engage in rehab is to immerse you in a virtual ah. world where you can um, engage, say, with I don't know, catching virtual butterflies by reaching out and grabbing, grabbing them in a virtual world. What's more, we'd be able to link you in far western Queensland with your physiotherapist in Brisbane. Brilliant. And you could interact with each other in a virtual world in real time. Unbelievable. <laughs> what, what am I so going to do? This is the Oculus Rift, which is a 3D immersive headset. Don't be afraid. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> Oh golly, I hate heights. Excellent, so the oh, go, <laughs> go, Oh, here we go. We're going down the bend. Oh my god. Whoa! Woo! <laughs> <laughs>